Hey, hey, Abraham, I said to you, it's not about... I said to you, we're saving the earth. What did you say to me? I said to you, it's not a question of saving the earth. We need to save ourselves from the destruction that we cause the earth. Because the earth doesn't really mind or care or think like, ah, oh, there's humans or there's dinosaurs or there's cockroaches or there is this or there is that. The earth just keep on doing its thing. Turning around itself every 24 hours, turning around the sun every 365 days, and it's been doing this for four and a half billion years. And in that time, everything that could have happened, happened. Yeah? So, we are not like so, we think ourselves, ah, oh, we are the, the most sophisticated, we humans and our technology. But we don't think that the earth is like where we are. We can't save ourselves just with technology. We need to take care of the earth because we live in it. They found plastic in everywhere. the North Pole, in snow. Yeah, plastic is everywhere. In How world. can it get into snow? It moves with the earth, with the wind, with the rain, with the environment. It's become so flimsy and, and particles, so it just rises and flies like dust. In the middle of the ocean, somewhere in the Pacific, there is so much con concentration of plastic. It's like all this, the, 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 the rivers in the sea, like, you know. They've all built up into plastic. Yeah, they bring it all up. To I've heard they're doing something to take it out. They're, 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 they're putting recycling things out there, aren't they? Yeah, it's like, you, know, it, you they have to make a law that every ship on the ocean should Pick have up a shit. system, yeah, a system to collect the plastic in the boat, like, you know, as it goes along. Mm. Like uh, ocean sweepers, as they go on their mission. As all the boats, ferries and ships all around the world go on their journeys, they have fitted to them a little thing that sucks all the plastic out the sea. And that will help save the planet. It's the little things that count. And if we start implying these laws, then we can definitely save the earth. It's up to you watching this video, plus me and Abraham, to tell the world how we can save the earth. It's the small people, it's the little things that really count. Why don't you hear us? Why don't you try it? Not only that, it's this uh, state of mind. We think, oh, we, we recycle, we recycle. But recycling is a stupid thing to do. You have a thing, you, you, you melt it and you remake it and you use energy and all the time you remake and remake and some material don't go with some material. Why not fucking make it stable and lasting? Yeah, like add the same container you buy your fruit and you take back with you and you put the fruit onto your container. Yeah. So like when you go, when you're at home and you have a knife and fork and a, and a plate, when you go to the supermarket, you have something similar that collects what you want. Yeah. No more plastic dis disposables. No need to be disposable. Yeah, no need for disposable. There is stable thing like, uh, like uh, glass, like you know, things that you reuse and reuse and reuse with no problem. Hundreds of thousands of times, you just. Clean the bottle and fill it back with milk. In the Roman times, they only had simple bowls and plates. Yeah. And we're still firing them today on digs. Yeah. Something, go to the supermarket with the stuff. Yeah, but we are so corrupt, you know, we're corrupt because... They get more money when they put it in back in. The coffee, this, that, plastics, uh, everything, the food, the takeaway, the shit, everything, plastic, and we eat and just... Dispose of it, throw it away. In some places in England, some people cleaning the local rivers and stuff like that, yeah? 
it's, it's not official, it's just oh, yeah. people themselves decided to clean. Good on them. Yeah, good on them. But what happened to them, they keep on fucking cleaning and they can't beat it. A bit, a bit. Yeah, because people dispose more and more and more, so... They're using it as a rubbish pit. Yeah. So then they're picking it up. Yeah. So they're like twice as bad. Fucking trolleys and shit in the river and all kind of things. People just So, uh, the overall conclusion of what to do and ending... People need to be more responsible to their doing. Thinking. Don't throw, throw some shit into a, a little stream or a little local river of yours. You know, in the Far East, you see it, they're choked there. Fact, we rubbish all over the fucking river. This is your earth. <coughs> Treat our earth for what it's worth. And with these videos that me and Abraham have made, I'm sure that together if we, if we, if you can help yourself. Clean. We keep us clean. It's like our food will come right to us. This river, if they are clean, they will fill up with fish. You know, be local thing. You don't need to go to the North Pole to pick up fish. You pick them up in locality, in your own streams and rivers. The message to the world is do your bit yeah. and do it now. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. And can we all do this? Easily. What's your message to them all if they're not doing it? Just change you the way you you do things. Change the plastic stories. Change the throwing of rubbish. Uh, recycle, so recycle, all right. But it's not the solution. The solution is to have permanent things that you don't need to recycle and recycle and recycle and create more rubbish. And what happened today, China and Nigeria or places like that used to take this rubbish and recycle it. Now they they send it back. Enough's enough. Enough they left. They have enough rubbish of themselves. So they can't take any more rubbish from the world. So the answer so, is take care now and the world can be saved. Yeah. We can save the world. We can save the world and live in paradise. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. We can save the world and live in paradise. But what these few films I've just made with Abraham have told you, common sense, we are the people living on the ground. Abraham, 74, I'm 44. Put them totals together and 74 and 44 is 138. Being 138 years old, that's older than most of you. We can save this earth. We know what we're worth. I love you all. Shine on Danny Sloggett, I am. And this is Brother Ham Abraham. Abraham, we love you, man. We love Abraham, you. We love you, Daddy. Abraham, we love you. Oh, we love you, Daddy. I would jump at him and cuddle him and kiss him, but then they say I'm drunk. I'm going to blow him a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Shine on. I love you, Brother Ham. Love you, Daddy Ham. I love Abraham, and he really knows how to save this earth, because we know what it's worth. Shine on. Yeah.